blessed sabbath and a blessed week ahead to all of you we are on lesson eight under the quarterly the everlasting covenant the promise and our lesson this week is the covenant law our memory verse comes from deuteronomy 7 verse 9 and it goes therefore the lord your god he is god the faithful god who keeps his covenant and mercy for a thousand generations to those who love him and keep his commandments amen so this week we learn of the covenant law we've learned of the everlasting covenant that the lord uh gave to abraham that abraham's seed will be blessed we are spiritually abraham's kids and we are loved by God. So God made his everlasting covenant with Jesus Christ before even all of us where creation was in existence because he knew that through Adam, through uh, David, we are all human beings and bound to fail. But he knew that his son will be born on earth and he will lean on him and abide and obey and be obedient to him and he will conquer the devil and sin for us so because christ died on the cross he made us has we inherited the everlasting life the everlasting covenant with 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 god the father so today god invites us to abide by his word, to surrender all to him, to trust in him. So he blesses, he is merciful to a thousand generations, but only if you keep his commandments. And we can't keep God's commandments on our own. Every day we try to be the best that we can, but still we fail. We can only keep God's commands, God's law, only if we surrender our all to him in faith, the just will live by faith. He helps us. He helps us to keep his commandments. We need to put our trust in him. Continually praying for those that have COVID, for those that are infected and affected, those that have lost their loved ones, those that are struggling, those that are depressed, those that are in need of Christ, that the Lord reaches out to you and blesses you. If you haven't given him a chance, Give him a chance. He's a faithful God. He will never ever disappoint you. He loves you and he awaits on you. May God bless you and keep you in Jesus' name.